Hello and welcome to another video on penetration testing. The first thought on this is the difference between penetration testing and vulnerability assessments or vulnerability scanning. So what you want to keep in mind is that vulnerability scanning examines known vulnerabilities which are usually part of a database of some type. So for example, this the common weakness enumeration. And these are typically automated scans or automated assessments. Whereas a penetration test, you've got various experts and you've got various different methods that are being used to try and get into the system. The biggest thing that I can recommend in terms of memorization and learning the different types of penetration testing is this little table that I came up with here that talks about the two different types that are mentioned in the common body of knowledge, one being the white hat penetration testing or also known as overt penetration testing. And then there's also the black hat or the covert penetration testing over here. And they're, they're different in terms of their approach. And also when the questions talk about internal and external, there's a little bit of a difference here as well. So what you wanna do is maybe copy down this entire table. And I know you might think that seems like a lot, but that's what I did to prepare for the exam because a lot of this was new material for me and copying something like this down several times helped me to actually memorize the material. So let's just cover this real quickly. So with White Hat, of course, this is gonna be the open, uh, fully transparent access, fully visible. Everybody knows that it's happening. That's also when it's combined with the internal. With Black Hat, you can also have internal, the difference being that you have specified access and there's specified visibility and the staff don't know. So then you have the black hat and the covert. If you're external, there's going to be basically no access, no visibility, <clears throat> and staff don't know about it. And then with white hat, you have their external. They don't have any access, but everybody knows about it. And there is full knowledge of the system. You might want to read your book. This is something that I came up with. I, I hope that it's helpful. I don't I don't know if it is. It was helpful for me just to learn the main the main differences. So with white hat, you know, your risk is low and your cost is low. And with black hat, your risk is high and your cost is also going to be high. Once again, thanks for watching and head over to cissprep.net for quality practice questions. And we also have our free super study guide. Thanks and have a great day.